Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, what's up everybody? It's your boy Leo right down here and I just I just got out of seeing into the Spider-Verse and let me tell you guys Wow, was it worth it? And they did a number on this movie, you all. I just want to start out with saying that they really hit the nail on the head with these characters through their respective voice actors. Loved, loved, loved who all was on this cast. This had an all-star cast lineup. Shamik Moore was Miles Morales. Jake Johnson was Peter Parker. Haley Steinfeld was Spider-Gwen. Yeah, Liev Schreiber as Kingpin. Yeah, Mahershala Ali as Prowler. Uh, oh my god, I could just go on and on and on. Nicolas Cage was Spider-Man Noir. John Mulaney was Spider-Ham. Like, this was the ultimate cast. And don't even get me started on the actual animation. Wow, if I didn't think it was crisp already, this movie literally brought comics to life. Like, the best features in this movie were the fact that it felt like you were living in a comic book. While he's running down the hall in one scene, Miles is talking to himself, thoughts are buzzing through his head, and you've got all these little thought bubbles coming up on the screen, the little yellow squares that we recognize from Marvel Comics. It was fantastic, guys. Like, this was well story told, well written, super well drawn. This was some of the sharpest animation I've ever seen. Like, it was penciled in, but also 3D animated over it, and the colors were beautiful, and the whole environment was beautiful, and just the way shapes came together, and the people and the characters, they were just so well drawn that you felt like you were actually in the world, immersed with them the entire time, and wow, the story, guys. Bit of a spoiler alert, I'm not gonna dive too far into spoilers, but... I just love a good story where you've got mentor, student, and for the longest time that student is following the mentor, he wants to do everything exactly like the mentor, and all the other Spider-Men, and Spider-Woman, and Spider-Ham, <laughs> all came together to fight off Kingpin, but once it came down to it, it took Miles being his own Spider-Man for him to finally join the fray because they were all in agreement that he was not ready yet. He wasn't as far advanced as them. He couldn't even unlock his unique powers for a certain time in the movie. And just that redemption in the end of him coming back, like, I am Spider-Man. I'm the Spider-Man of this universe was phenomenal. And I also want to dive a little bit into the stereotypes that were not there. Like, Spider-Man Miles Morales is a half Hispanic, half African-American Spider-Man. So there are a lot of nasty stereotypes that could have been pulled in, but they were not there. He was an advanced student. He wasn't just skipping around in class and not getting his work done, especially, you know, after things were all said and done. He wasn't ghetto, like his dad wasn't missing from his life. So it was just nice to see a character of color, a main character of color at that, become the hero, be the hero, but also live a life that's not riddled in negative stereotypes. So I loved the representation that was brought to the cast. And not just, not to mention that we also had a woman. We had a pig, we had an Asian woman, we had a black and African American and Latino character. We had another Latino character. We had, you know, two, only two white males on the main cast panel. So it was just great for a bucket of diversity. And man, just everything in this guys is wonderful, great direction. Great writing, great plot. Like, I would see this again in a heartbeat and all those hilarious Easter eggs. It was just the perfect amount of humor, action, fun for a Spider-Man movie. And guys, this is the best Spider-Man I've seen so far. I'm giving this one a four and a half out of five Gs. This is a must see, everybody. Wow. Check out Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, December 14th. Jake Johnson was Peter Parker. Uh, Shamik Moore as Shamik Moore. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow Geekly Goods on all social media platforms and grab something from our store. We take $1 of every purchase and donate it to arts education to keep arts in the classrooms. We'll see you next time.